Is your iPhone or iPad littered with more apps than you know what to do with? Even if you have an iPhone or iPad with 64 gigabytes or 512 gigabytes, storage space sometimes is tight. When you receive that error message that says out of storage, it halts your ability to use the iPhone the way you choose. Apple only gives you five gigabytes of free storage. You may need to consider which iCloud storage plan you should get. If you don't want to pay more for iCloud, you may not be completely out of luck. Ellen here from Ellen's Tips for iOS. Today, I'll give you a few options to free up storage space on your iPhone and iPad that streamlines the process of deleting apps, files, and other data, making it easier to free up that storage space. If you find the video useful, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Let's get started. What about all those apps on your device that you aren't using? You can delete apps anytime you want. However, iOS and iPadOS gives you the option of removing all the apps that you haven't touched recently. What a great feature. This will free up space on your device if you aren't good at organizing your apps. To access these settings, you'll go ahead and you'll launch the Settings app. You'll scroll down and you'll tap on General. And then you'll tap on iPhone, or if you're on your iPad, iPad Storage. And then you'll enable Offload Unused Apps. And you can see on my iPhone, I could save 14.16 gigabytes just by enabling this feature. This will delete apps that you haven't used in quite some time. However, it will keep your documents and data so that you won't lose anything. The app icon will remain on your device, allowing you to quickly reinstall it by just tapping it when you want to use it again. If you decide to reverse the process, here are the steps that you'll need to take. You'll need to launch the Settings app, and now you'll need to scroll down until you see App Store. Tap on App Store, and then find the toggle switch that says Offload Unused Apps, and toggle that switch so that it's gray. And now all of those apps that you offloaded will return to your device. There's another option to free up storage. What about all those large attachments when sending and receiving messages with images, GIFs, or other media attached that can take up lots of storage? Apple has figured that out as well. iOS and iPadOS give you the option to review them all in one place so that you can free up the storage space on your device. Let's go ahead and tap on settings in the upper left-hand corner and I'll show you how to access this. So now we're in the main settings screen. We're gonna come to general and tap on general. And again, we're gonna tap on iPhone or iPad storage. And once we do, you'll have an option here that says review large attachments. And as you can see, I have 23.74 gigabytes in that area. So I can go ahead and tap on that. And then I can review all of these attachments and decide whether I want to keep them or delete them by tapping on edit, selecting the ones that I you know, want to delete, and then tapping on the trash icon in the upper right-hand corner. I'm going to go ahead and tap on cancel and be sure to save the ones uh, that you want to by tapping on them to open them and then tapping on the share icon in the upper right hand corner. And then you can scroll down and you'll see that you have an option to save. This is a video. If it was a photo, it would save, it would say save photo here. Tap on that. And now that particular uh, video or photo will be saved to your photos collection. And then tap on done. Now, the bad thing about this is that you can't delete them all at one time. So you can't select everything and say delete. So you must tap edit, 
select the ones you want to delete and then go ahead and hit the trash icon. You know, ultimately that can take up some time, but it's well worth it to save yourself the extra space. Another warning I'll give you is that once you delete something, it will probably be lost forever. So be careful. Only delete the items and the attachments that you want to remove from your device. So with just a few taps, you can free up storage space on your iPhone or iPad. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments area and I'll do my best to help you out. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.